What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video, it's gonna get straight to the point. So I did make a video, as you could see, the new Hulk Smashers pickaxe with the bonus, a Hulkbuster style, and how to get that. To be honest, check out the video, you guys can. But in this video, I'm gonna be talking about how to link the accounts because I know that could be confusing to a few people. So we're gonna go ahead and just gonna get straight to it. We're gonna go ahead and click on this link. So let's go ahead and click on that. This is Fortnite's Twitter page, by the way. They posted this about 15 hours ago. So let's go click on that link. It's going to take you to the official website. So get the Hulk Smashers pickaxe and bonus Hulkbuster style when you complete Marvel's Avengers beta on PS4. You can read all that. I kind of talked about it. I'll link the original video in the description down below. But if you go on to uh, all the way in the bottom, in addition to completing the three harm challenges, you'll need to make sure your console is epic. By the way, the harm challenges in the beta, they're not in Fortnite. They're in like the Avengers game. Like I said, check out the video guide I made in the description. But you'll need to make uh, make sure your console, Epic, and Square Enix accounts are properly linked. First, make sure your um, PlayStation or um, Xbox Live accounts is linked to your Epic Games account, which is this page right here. So I got my Xbox account linked and my PlayStation, PlayStation account linked as well. So most people probably have the Xbox or PlayStation, depending on which one they play, linked to the Epic Games account already. Maybe they have an exclusive skin or like most people already have a link, so don't worry about that. But if it's not linked, you just want to go on up here to where it says your name, click on account and then click on connections and then accounts, the accounts tab, and then click connect Xbox or connect PlayStation, depending on what you're going to be playing the Avengers game on. And but to actually link the Avengers account to Epic Games account with this link right here. So we're going to go ahead and open this link. So open link in new tab. Then it's going to take you to this page with the Avengers website. And then you're going to sign in or make an account with squareenix.com. I already have an account made because there was like a Xbox uh, exclusive game that came out a couple years ago. And I had to make an account. So I already had an account prior. So it says link your account. If, if you don't have an account, it's going to ask you to make an account. But since I'm already logged into my account, it's asking me to link my account already. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. You guys could read all this extra stuff you guys want, but let me click on link your account. Oh, uh, Stuart Enix is requesting permission to access information from your Epic Games account, blah, blah. And you just want to click allow, and this is my username, A-L-E-A-B-E-D. So it's me, it's not anybody else's Epic Games account. So double check on that. Maybe a different family member logged into their Epic Games account. So you definitely want to double check on that. But as you can see, it is my uh, username for my Epic Games account. So I'm going to click allow. And then finish the beta, unleash the power of the Incredible Hulk with the Hulk Smashers pickaxe and bonus Hulk Buster style. Then you complete the three harm challenges in a Marvel Avengers beta on PlayStation 4. And Xbox One, your Square, Enix, your Square Enix members and Epic Games accounts are successfully linked. So let's go. And that's all you guys want to do. So click on link like I showed you guys. But if you guys don't have a, an account, it's going to ask you to make an account or log into your account if you have to log in. And then just link account by clicking on that link. And that's pretty much it. And now if I click on it again. It's going to tell me successfully linked. So I would definitely do that if I were you guys. I would definitely click on it again. And if it says successfully linked. Then you guys should be good. Now if I go back to my connections. If I go to apps. Let me refresh this page. And now Square Enix should show up right here after you refresh the page. And then it's not going to show on accounts, but like I said, make sure your Xbox or PlayStation account is linked to your Epic Games account. And then apps, as you can see, I refreshed it and I was showing the uh, Square Enix website as well. And after the event, if you want to take it out, you guys can, but definitely wait till you get uh, get your pickaxe, obviously. But that should pretty, be pretty easy and that's pretty much it for the video. And hopefully this video will help you guys out. It's pretty simple, but it's very easy. It's it's much easier if like you watch a video based on it. So I hope this video helps you guys out because it was confusing in the beginning for me because I had to log into my account and then link it. But as you guys see, as you guys can see, just click on this link, log in or sign up, and then if you click on it again, then it said successfully linked. You should be good. And then refresh the page on your accounts on your Epic Games uh, settings, and if it comes up, that means you should be good. So hopefully this video uh, did help you guys out, and make sure, once again, Xbox and PlayStation is linked as well. But that's pretty much going to do it. Hopefully this video helps you guys out, and I'm going to end it with that note. Make sure to use the code, make sure to use code of brothers in front of Adam shop 
watch the original video I made. I'll link it down below. That's pretty much all I got. I'll catch you guys next one, and I'm out.